What is up, watch friends? Welcome to another episode of Talking Time Pieces with Tony. I'm Tony. Today is Sunday. Um, I don't know. Should I release this video today? Maybe tomorrow, which would be Monday, but who knows? Anyway, uh, today I am wearing a swatch, one of my swatches. Um, love swatch, always have. And we got some news. Let's find out what it is. Let's roll the intro and we'll talk about it. Watch inside pieces with Tony. Talking some pieces with Tony. That's me. What's up, everyone? Uh, I literally just edited this video real quick and then saw for sure it's Blanc Pond. Swatch and Blanc Pond. Dude, this is freaking exciting. Anyway. Alrighty, so Swatch are up to something. What it is, we don't really know. Just like a couple years ago when the Moon Swatch came out, Swatch kind of released these sort of ominous little telltale things, you know, but we kind of knew, all right, it's, it's with Omega, something to do with Omega. And then, and then it came out. And then once it came out, all freaking hell broke loose. I did a video, I did, I think I did a couple of videos on it when they first came out and uh, you know, yeah, I want one. I wanted one so bad and thought I was going to get one. I didn't I actually have one coming finally. Thank you to a friend of mine in Australia, um, Jessica. Um, she's uh, got the uh, Aussie, Aussie wristwatch channel and uh, so Anyway, we know that, and I'm stoked to get it. I am so stoked. I'm like uh, more excited than, than uh, Rolex, maybe equally, <laughs> maybe not more. <laughs> but um, anyway, so we knew that the, the Swatch watch came out, the Omega Swatch, and it was just crazy and pandemonium broke out. Just the lines were just insane. Stores were closing down, not letting the crowds in. There was like riots, people getting hurt. It was insane. And that also opened up a lot of doors for new people that weren't necessarily into watches previously that are now into watches. Unfortunately, a lot of those watches went to people that were flippers. You know, you're buying a watch for 250, 60 bucks, and then they start putting them on the gray market for a two, three, four thousand dollars. It was absolutely crazy. Then all of the reviews came out. Every YouTuber started doing reviews. It's just a piece of plastic. It's just, you know what I mean? It is what it is. It's, you know, they call it bioceramic, plastic, whatever it is, it's a freaking Swatch watch, man. You, you sit there, you can't compare that to the real Speedmaster, you know what I mean? It's a fun watch. Mine broke, it's the, 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 the crystal sucks. It's a fucking Swatch, man. <laughs> They're fun watches. The problem with this is that Swatch maintained well first stated that they were going to eventually be online and then they didn't then they started releasing these stupid other things you know creating more you know well you can only get this in in, in, in paris at the paris boutique with their uh, gold moonshine or whatever it's called gold moon moonshine gold or whatever um hands uh second hand or chronograph hand and so it's it got a little bit uh all right dude you really can you just put these things online so everyone can fucking get them now you know what i mean it became a thing like now where swatch was playing a game with with the public you know what i mean yeah we get it it was fun at first but now it's like come on dude how much of this are you going to keep doing let's fast forward to the last week or so i've been seeing these uh swatch ads swimming pool at the bottom of the swimming pool is a logo a watch shape with a logo um, there is some speculation that it's Mont Blanc and it's going to be the 50 Fathoms. I don't know. If it, if it is, fuck, I'd be so stoked, man, because the, 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 the 50, 50 Fathoms, Blanc Pond, Blanc Pond first and foremost are just an, an exceptional watch company. Um, they were the first dive watch. Came out in 1953. Just just ahead of Rolex, just slightly, but they were. The 50 Fathoms is just a, it's a beautiful watch. It's an amazing watch. I think they're 300 meters water resistance. Now, if this is the case, now keep in mind, the 50 Fathoms is a 45 millimeter up to 47 millimeter, um, which is not a big deal because Rolex. I mean, a uh, Rolex. I mean, what's on my mind is Rolex. Um. 
you know, Swatch have been making bigger watches. They make a 47 millimeter. Those bright, super bright chronograph watches and whatever, they're kind of fun. Um, but if they do, and if they make a watch that's, you know, 300 meters water resistance, actually my other Swatch that I've had since 1994, um, is a 200 meters water resist resistant diver. And I learned to scuba dive in the Cayman Islands with it and it held up and it's running to this day, it's fine. I mean, but if they do come up with a two or 300 or a 300 meter uh, water resistant watch, that's gonna be sick, that's gonna be awesome. If it is a 50 fathoms, that's gonna be sick. I will be, you know, I just hope they don't play the game with with the buying community, the watch, the, the, the true watch fans that they're only available in Swatch boutiques. You know, there was a Swatch boutique directly across from Bindi Jewelers for years in the Glendale Galleria, and then that went out of business. This is long ago before, you know, all this stuff. And, and so we in Southern California don't really have an outlet to buy Swatch watches that are only available in the boutiques. You know, we have to rely on people to try to get it for us. You know what I mean? Um, San Francisco is the closest one for us. Um, and when you're in SoCal, San Francisco is NorCal. So um, it's, it's difficult, you know? So um, do I think that if it is the 50 Fathoms, are they gonna you know, create the hype like they did? Are people gonna freak out and lose their shit like they did with the Omega? I don't necessarily think they will because Blanc Pond's obviously not as well known as Omega. You know what I mean? Um, so if they do this, hopefully there won't be all this chaos and, and, and Swatch will not try to create what, what they did before, you know, because Swatch essentially are just playing games at this point, you know what I mean? At first it was like, oh, we're just gonna release it in our boutiques, but then it's gonna be available. And then, you know, it's not like this. And uh, no, we're now we're gonna just not release it online. Okay, so are you excited? If it was a Blanc Pond Swatch, would you buy it? Me? Fucking yeah, I'd, I'd buy it right now, sight unseen, if I know that. We're gonna know on September 9th. Uh, so, what, what is it today, the third? So, another week, six days, before they let us know what it is. Like I say, these, these little ads of the swimming pool or whatever with the logo at the bottom of it, it means something. It's gotta have something to do with, obviously, water resistance. Some people seem to think it's the, the, the uh, Blanc Pond logo um, whatever, but we'll see. We'll know, and I'll, and I'll be freaking stoked if it's the the 50 fathoms. So I guess I, I my question to you is is would you run out and buy it if that were the case? Um, and again, if you're just a Swatch hater, don't bother commenting. You know what I mean? They're not meant to be luxury watches. They're fun watches. You know what I mean? They're somewhat disposable in a sense. Like for instance, if this thing, I have an automatic uh, uh, System 51 that broke and it's, a, it's the case is solid. You cannot get into it. It's not serviceable. It essentially needs to be tossed in the trash. However, I still keep it because it reminds me of when I bought it at the Glendale Galleria across from Bindi Jeweler. Um, so, you know, if, if you're a Swatch hater and you don't like Swatch, or you don't know what they're all about, or you weren't around in those times to even appreciate what Swatch did to the industry to make the industry come back, they saved the Swiss watch industry, you know? And uh, so take it for what it is. I, for one, love Swatch, and I always have, and I always will, as, as far as I know. So let me know what your thoughts are, and... Uh, I appreciate it as always, man. Appreciate everyone who likes and subscribes and blah, blah, blah. Hit the notification bell, dude. Smash that button. Fuck it in the head. <laughs> and what other people say, right? I don't know. <laughs> Have a good one, you guys.